There seems to be some truly unnecessary confusion about just how one comes to get right or be declared righteous by God. In fact, just getting an answer on what is the good news or gospel can cause confusion, even among so-called evangelicals' example. Show me the scripture intended for this dispensation of the grace of God that tells one to invite Jesus into their heart to be saved. Again, this confusion regarding the gospel is very unnecessary. Paul cleared up the gospel message when he wrote in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 1, Moreover, brothers, I declare unto you the gospel. After this, he clearly defined the gospel, stating, For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 3 to 4. Let's take a closer look. To be made right before God requires simple belief in the gospel and associated faith in the object of that gospel, Jesus Christ, for receiving personal salvation thereby. With God, no matter the dispensation, salvation has always been a matter of simple belief by grace through faith. In times past folks did not know the ultimate object of that faith as we do now because it was yet to be revealed, but the path has always been the same. Example, simply believe God's declared and revealed truth in faith, and by His grace He saves. But now we know the object of our faith to be Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, who came and died for our sins, according the prophetic scriptures. Then after he died, he was buried, taking our sins into the grave via his dead body. Then, to show that he had accepted the sacrifice of Christ for our sins, three days and nights later God the Father raised Christ from the dead, again in accordance with the prophetic scriptures that foretold of this. Today we know the revealed mystery of the gospel of the grace of God. How that any person who will believe Christ died for their sins, was buried and rose again, accepting by faith the payment he made, will by grace through faith be saved and thereby declared righteous by God. It cannot be simpler and there should be no confusion. So, if there is confusion in this regard, the student of the word should ask why? because we know that the author of such confusion is not God. Believer, know the gospel that saves and share that gospel as an ambassador for Christ.